Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I've got a box to open. Uh, this comes from the knife licker himself, <laughs> uh, Joe, the knife whisperer. And uh, recently I loaned him two knives, my CKF Satori 2.0 and my all blacked out Protec Malibu. So he's already reviewed, uh, I think he might have done both of them. In fact, I think the Satori is back in here. He still has the Malibu. Anyways, um, I loaned him those. You can check them out on his channel. Joe's channel will be linked down below. Really funny dude, very different approach to knife reviewing, to say the least. He's just, he's hilarious. Um, so if you enjoy comedy with your knife reviews, then he's a good channel to check out. And uh, he's become a buddy at this point. So um, he sent me my Satori 2.0 back. And then there are some loaners in here that we're gonna take a look at. And uh, that I will be reviewing here on this channel. So let's see what is in the box. I carried my Vero Axon today, so that's what I'm using to unbox here. Let's bust this open. All right. Paper towels, always good. There's a wee pouch. I think I know what that is. There's See, lots of paper towels. All right, paper towels, by the way, are a great way to keep knives from bouncing around in transit. Plus, I had a little bit of water on the table here that I've been avoiding since I sat down um, from the cup that I was drinking from while I was doing the podcast that I just recorded with Ray from Everyday City Carry. Anyways, paper towel came in handy. Thanks, Joe. Um, all right, let's see what's in here first because this is separate. I don't know what this is. Feels small. What do we have here? Oh, this is my knife. Is it? Is this the Satori 2.0? Let's see. Yes. <laughs> this is my knife. This is the Satori 2.0, which I have reviewed. I really, really, really like this knife. It is a lot of fun. And uh, you can watch the review if you want to find out <laughs> more of why. But there's that. So then in here, we have a wee pouch. I believe there is a wee in here, along with something else. Yes. All right, so there's two knives in here. Let's do this one first. So this is a CKF, and it is a Gavco collab. And at the moment, I am forgetting what this one is called. Is it the Mako? It might be the Mako. I don't know, they're all named after sharks. Anyway, <laughs> this one, is anodized purple and it has a blue clip on it. I can't remember if this was an option and that's the way that it came or if Joe had this modified or something, but uh, purple isn't usually my color. This is a loner, so it's not gonna bother me. If I were picking this, I wouldn't pick purple for myself, but this is pretty wild. So I've actually, I haven't owned a Gavco yet. I haven't even owned a Gavco collaboration. He did the ones with, um, Drop or Mass Drop that were made by Wii, the Thresher, I think it's called, or something. Um, he's done the Artisan one that I really want to check out. He's done this one. Um, I feel like there was a mid tech that he did with CKF as well at one point, whereas this one's more of like a production, I think. Um, anyways, I'll have to learn some more about it, but this is really cool. I've always thought Gavco's designs looked really awesome, and I've heard so many good things about them. This one is numbered, it's number 173. You can see that on the flipper tab right there. I don't know if it'll be easy to show, but uh, the other side says M390. These grinds are pretty wicked. His grinds look crazy a lot of the time in a fun way. Um, look at that swedge. It's like a swedge with kind of a harpoon in it. Uh, or like a double harpoon almost. There's like these peaks. It's just pretty wild. It's a gnarly, I'd call that a tanto. Ridiculous grinds. Yeah, this is cool. I like that it's like a stonewash flats, with belt satin grinds. The clip looks like, it's not deep carry, which is my preference, but as kind of titanium clips go, it's like a milled titanium clip, but then it's bent, which is nice. I like bent clips more than like solid clips. Yeah, this is cool. All right, so Gavco by CKF. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And let's see what the other knife is. Yes, exactly what I remember him saying. 
This is a newish model for Wii. It is the Snex Mini Buster. And I've been seeing a lot of people say good things about these. When this knife was kind of like announced or when I saw that it was coming out, I was actually really, really tempted to get one. And I just kind of didn't. I think uh, it came out around the same time as quite a few other exciting things. And I just, it, I kind of picked some other stuff. But uh, this one has been intriguing to me. The backspacer on it is wild. The way that this backspacer is finished and like the way it's kind of set into the titanium seemingly like it's like slotted or into the scales i should say it's really really cool looking and there's like a see-through window back here you've got the lanyard uh, loop or whatever integrated back there wild there's also see-through parts on the scales that actually go through and you can see the blade nested in there really really cool machining all over this thing it's been a while since i've played with a wii as well that sounds weird to say <laughs> um, but i haven't had any wii manufactured knives in, in quite a bit i don't think i even have anything made by wii in my collection currently which is wild i've owned a few anyway let's see how it flips it's flipper only Ooh, yeah okay um, that was good. Let's try that again, actually. Very good action. Yeah. Okay. This is excellent. This feels like kind of what I remember of like a good Wii action. Yeah, that's silky smooth. Oop. I slipped off like a chump. There we go. Yeah. I like the size of this more than I was expecting to as well. This is a really good size knife for me fits my hand well. This is intriguing. I, uh, I was expecting to think this was cool, but right out of the box, this is way cooler than I was expecting it to be. And this is, uh, this got more interesting. A little bit of jimping, but it's super non-aggressive. There's also this little divot back here where you can kind of rest and index. Everything is smooth. The machining is wild too. Even internally, look at that backspacer, the way that it's like notched, like the backspacer itself has this groove milled through it and it goes all the way through. It's like where the blade rests. So the blade is resting into <laughs> the backspacer, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, the machining on this is wild. This is really, really nice. All right. Well, a couple of very cool owners to check out. So we have the Wii Snex Mini Buster and the CKF Gavco. I forget the name of it, if I'm being honest. Um, it'll be in the description. <laughs> um, these are the two that are loaned to me by Joe. Again, down below, there will be Joe's channel linked, the Knife Whisperer, and a really funny dude, really cool guy, and I appreciate him sending these along for me to check out. So there you have it. They're out of the box. They have been released, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.